This is from the chapter quadratic equation. Question number two. Find the value of k for each of the flowing quadratic equations so that they have two equal roots. Quadratic equations are given here. You have to find the value of k. From this equation, you have to find the value of k. From this equation also, you have to find the value of k. But one condition is given. They have two equal roots. One condition is given. They have two equal roots. This quadratic equation has two equal roots. So, let us take the solution of this equation 1. What is the equation? 2x square plus kx plus 3 equal to 0. Before going through this equation, uh, before going to solve this equation, you have to know one thing. That is, in a quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. If b square minus 4ac value is greater than 0, then you will have two different roots, two distinct real roots, means two different roots. Again, if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, then you will have two equal real roots. And again, if b square minus 4ac is less than 0, then no real roots. In this question, it is related to this situation, this condition b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then 2 equal roots so in this question is given you see the question the equation have 2 equal roots that means the condition that means here b square minus 4ac should be equal to 0 you have to keep in mind these things now come to the solution here a value is ax square 2 b value is k and c value is 3 now let us find uh, according to question it has two equal roots that means according to question b square minus 4ac should be equal to 0 because it has two equal roots now it implies b square implies b value is k k square minus 4 a c a value is 2 c value is 3 equal to 0 Again, it implies k square minus 4 to the 8, 8 3 to 24 equal to 0. And in simple, it implies k square is equal to 24 taking to the right side. It is plus 24. And therefore, k is equal to plus minus root over 24. Now you see how the k is equal to plus minus root 24. I am showing here k square is equal to 24. k square is equal to 24. Taking square root both sides. And whenever you put square root, we should give plus minus beforehand. Because it is not in the square format. Now 24 you have to factorize like this. That's why from here we can say that instead of 24, we can write 2 square into 6. 2 square into 6. And you know, square root of 2 square is 2. Square root of 6 we cannot get easily. So remain like this. So what we got? k is equal to plus minus 2 root 6. Clearly I will write here. k is equal to plus minus 2 root 6. This is the k value. So you can give conclusion. Therefore, required 
वैल्यू ऑफ के इज प्लस माइनस टू टू सिक्स सो दिस इज द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ कम टू द सेकंड इक्वेशन द सेकंड इक्वेशन इज के एक्स इन टू एक्स माइनस टू प्लस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम हियर विल फाइंड दिस के वैल्यू लेट अस टेक दिस सेकंड इक्वेशन सो आई टुक द इक्वेशन हियर के एक्स इंटू एक्स माइनस टू प्लस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो लेट अस मेक इट सिंपल के एक्स इंटू एक्स इट विल बी के एक्स स्क्वायर के एक्स इंटू टू इट विल बी टू के एक्स बट इट विल बी माइनस इट इज पॉजिटिव वैल्यू इट इज नेगेटिव वैल्यू पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव इट विल बी नेगेटिव एंड प्लस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो इज रिमेनिंग सेम नाउ इट इज कम्प्लीटली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्वाडिटी इक्वेशन ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो देर फोर हियर ए इज इक्वल टू के क्लियरली के v is equal to clearly 2k minus sorry minus 2k it is v value and c is equal to 6 but according to question it has two equal roots that means v square minus 4ac should be equal to 0 it implies it implies instead of b i should write minus 2 k whole square b square minus 4 ac a value is k c value is 6 b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 again it implies minus 2 square is 4 k square is k square minus 4 k 6 we get 6 for the 24 k equal to zero. Again, it implies 4 k is equal to k minus 6 equal to zero. That is, 4 k is taken as common. So 4 k is taken common inside the bracket. It remains k minus 6. Let us take 4 k into k, 4 k square, 4 k into 6 for the 24 k. So it is all right. Now. Now it implies 4k equal to zero or k minus six equal to zero, and from here it implies k is equal to zero divided by four, that is zero, and here it implies k is equal to six. Therefore, the value of k is six. Value of k is six. We got k is equal to six, but uh, this is not exists. We got k value as zero also, but this is not exists. Why not exists? You just look here. A x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. It is in a it is a quadratic equation, and in case of quadratic equation, a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. In any quadratic equation, you just see in the standard form of quadratic equation. A must not be equal to zero. It is written here. A value should not be zero. Here k is in the k is a value. K is a value. That's why k value should not be equal to zero. If k value is zero, then it will give zero. If a value is zero, look here. Try to understand. If a value is zero. And zero into any x square, it will be zero. If it is zero, there will be no square. It will not be a quadratic equation. So a value should not be zero. That's why k value should not be zero. That's why k is equal to zero. It's not acceptable. But k is equal to six is acceptable. So in the conclusion, we should write therefore the value of k is six. So this is the solution for any doubt you just mention in the comment section